Hello, I'm Matt Kale, and on behalf of Expert Village, I'm going to show you today how to do advanced painting techniques. The next advanced painting technique I'm going to show you, I personally call squiggling. This is a Matt Kale original. You may not actually find other references to this, although different artists undoubtedly have similar techniques. They just call it different things. I call it squiggling. What we're going to do with squiggling is you're actually going to get a flat, um, a flat brush, basically you know, a flat top where it's you know it's totally uh, straight across the side, forms 90 degree angles on each side of the brush. That's what we're going to be using here. Um, get yourself two pigments. In this case, I have cerulean blue and titanium white. The basic way that squiggling works is your brush stays in almost constant motion. Um, let's get some cerulean blue on our brush. Not a ton, but at least enough to get uh, half the brush pretty, uh, pretty cerulean-ized. And what you basically do is you start on the canvas, and you don't stop. And you basically are making this circular motion very slowly, and you keep going around and around and around. Now I also find that squiggling, you can do it with just paint, but adding a little bit of media really makes it run and really thins the paint and suddenly your paint just explodes on the canvas. Now I find this is very useful for doing skies, also also some distant hillsides, or for a general underpainting, kind of your first layer on the painting. It's especially effective whenever you ever want to work in subtle hints of other colors. See here the fallow green? Just quick squiggle in a little bit. It's not going to remain harsh. Look, you have like nice Nice little, you know, fallow green region here. Because, come on, you're not going to have your paint going to be all the same pigment. Another thing you can do is work into surrounding colors relatively seam seamlessly. For example, we have these darker painting areas up here just beyond our blue. Let's merge these together. So we go in here with a start squiggling. And it's okay, bring down some of that color. We're not afraid of it. Bring it down. We'll bring some of the blue up. And we'll bring this guy down over here. It's great in terms of blending colors together and getting regions of color to cooperate rather than look like they're uh, diametrically opposed colors on your canvas.